Hi, I'm Jesse, and... And I'm Layton. Yes, and this is Stuff, where we review everything, anything, and the obscure. Yes, but and today... the not-so-obscure, as I've been following a particular thing for several months now, and I've been excited and then let down by people on the internet, but then I got it and I was pleasantly okay. Yes, my friends, it is the Ouya. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I, I I got this, and what me and Jesse, who has not interacted with it really, I don't know how how long have you known about it? Um, did I tell you about it? You told me about it, and then yeah. it just kind of left the back of my mind, and then you called me, texted me today, and then said we're doing a review on the Ouya. So that's about it. It's really funny because most people that know what it is, they're like people who are like on the internet way too much. I ask people in real life. And they don't even know what the Xbox One is. It's kind of scary how little people know about things. Yes. Maybe they're actually doing something productive with their lives. Well, that would be just... No. 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 All right, anyways, we're going we're gonna to open it. And uh, here's the box. It says Ouya. It says Ouya, Ouya again. It uh, just has pictures of it. That's some cool graphics on the back. Yeah, yeah games, games that I don't have. Final Fantasy and Chrono Blade. Yes, which we'll play, maybe, we'll find out. You'll see later. Yes, we're going to also be doing several uh, game reviews on here, since nobody else seems to be doing that. Okay, so it looks like we have... So begins the revolution. They're, they're pretty much revolutionizing things. Also only 99 bucks, so technically this is still... In our uh, cheap, it's uh, still in the fairly cheap here. range. And I was I was talking earlier. We'll get into the specifics of what we can what you can do with it. But since it's Android based, you can do a lot of the same things as a Roku when it's plugged up to your TV, and for only like twenty bucks more. But you can do a lot more things with this, yes. as we'll show you later. And so, J Jesse, let's let's take a look at the hardware here. What what do you want me to give you first? Choose your weapons, sir. Um, I think I'll look at the actual device, the actual. There you go. Oh, it feels nice and cool. Yeah. Well, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is this is the entire system. Um, it has the. It's really simple, really clean. It has one button on top. It has Ouya kind of in the in the metal engraved in, inside. Um, on the bottom it has kind of rubber feet and looks like fan, a fan opening at the bottom. And then in the back you have your, your ports, you have HDMI, USB, micro USB, Ethernet, and then the power. I mean, it's a really simple, small box and you can tuck it behind your TV and not even know it's there. Yeah, and then if you accidentally pull your HDMI cable, it accidentally pulls it off. But then hangs because it's not coming out of the HDMI right. cable because it's so light. Although, another one, one interesting thing, whenever I picked up the box, I'm like, gee, this is kind of heavy for, for a little box. And then I pick up each thing individually, and it's really, this is weighted at the bottom. And even then, it still pulls around with the HDMI cords and stuff. But, yeah, they tried. And, I don't know, it feels nice. It's not aluminum, but I think it's like an aluminum finish or something, because it yeah. feels cold and it feels kind of metal-y, but still plasticky at the same time. It's kind of like it's a metal finish over plastic. Yeah. But, I mean, it it's simple, nice. it looks good, it's clean. Alright, Jesse. Now that we have that, why don't we get to the, uh, the what we're waiting aspect. for. The controller. This is the Ouya controller. Um, yeah. It's set up like a nice controller. I mean, you have all of your buttons, and it has similar buttons. Really, when you get into controllers, they all have just about the same buttons, yeah. like for PS3 and it's, Xbox 360. It's unfair to say this is copying the Xbox, because... Well, it's copying. But... No, I, I know, I'm saying that's a, there are several concerns that were raised in, right. over the internet. I mean, it, it's, it's its own thing. That was one of them. Don't look at it like it's copying it, but like I'm saying, all, all pretty much controllers of this day have the same, you have four buttons, the D-pad, and then two... Yeah. Two, and then you have the, and the only difference is here. just where these tend to switch. The, right. Uh, 
Worth and it's honestly, if you want to find a controller that looks like an Xbox 360 controller, look at the Wii U Pro controller. I mean, it has this stick up here, but it's molded a lot right. more like the Xbox controller. Oh, Enough. and uh, for your, uh, as a service for you people out there, if we you have... wanted to compare it to the Xbox <laughs> controller. Xbox I mean, controller it's, right there. It's a little bit bigger. Um, I think it fits in your hand a little bit well, a little bit better because it the the handles at the bottom are chunkier and they kind of they yeah kind it's of almost it like it's better it's easier for my palms to fold around it and also right. i like these fatty fat uh, than, triggers uh, right here i mean i like those triggers but i can put my whole top finger on these and as a review we're we're looking at personal preference here because you know we're not saying that the xbox controller is bad or the yu oh, controller is bad we're just we're just I mean, giving a comparison because everyone has personal preference when it comes to controllers. Yeah, and for example, I mean, this D-pad, I'm not particularly fond of it, but I'm not particularly fond of the uh, Xbox D-pad either. I'd, I'd sooner have a, a, have a Sony controller. Uh, and I mean, the buttons click in. It does everything any console does now. Right. It's, to buy no... an extra one, it's 50 bucks. I don't think it's worth 50 bucks, but I don't think it's crap. It's I have some crappy USB controllers that this this feels solid. Yeah. Well, People give it a lot of crap. Well, and in the future, I'm sure the price is going to come down, but since this console pretty much just came out. Yeah. I mean, when when first consoles come out, the controllers are going to be more expensive because they don't know how it's going to sell and they don't know what they can do, but when you start going to aftermarket controllers and even cheaper manufacturer controllers, the price will definitely drop. Oh yeah, in the future. Also, they have this they have the touchpad. I've used it. It is kind of finicky because in order to click, you have to tap. And anybody who's used a PC, they are used to that. But this isn't very reliable. It's like tap, come on, and then you accidentally click something and screwed up. So uh, it works just to navigate like the internet. Don't use it a lot because it sucks. They also have an interesting feature. Um, the battery places, the, these little face plates come off. They're magnetically put on there. They're not that hard to get off. People complain they shouldn't. They should just man up and take the freaking things off. At least they don't click. See, if they clicked in, like, little plastic pieces, that would be sound. That would feel cheap and plasticky. But these are just, like, stick magnetically. And there you go. Oh, it's naked. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hold on. I can take this out <laughs> and replace it with something else, probably. I don't know. What would fit on there? Huh? I wonder if you could um, put an Xbox stick on there. Probably. I mean, there's there's <laughs> not much cool. of a difference. It's just, on the Xbox, it's caved in instead of curved up. So, yeah. I mean, Honestly, this isn't as curved. It's kind of, a, it almost looks a little bit flatter than some PlayStation. Like, the PS2 controller is a little bit more rounded. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the PS3 controller. But, uh, yeah, I like the sticks. It's, I like, I like it's it. It's different. It only has one, f like system button though it only has the ouya button and like yeah but the problem is is that the ouya button when pressed twice goes straight to the ouya menu um this is okay unless you just have twitchy fingers because in game they may have this be the system menu for their game i mean this may have this as the game menu in their game, but it also takes you back to the. So you, yeah, think, so just, you think there should be like almost like a start button? Yeah, for the games, because this Where is almost more like it. the Wii Home button. Right. Except it doesn't bring a menu; it just takes you straight back. So there's no real pause button. Not really. I can see that as a flaw. Although a lot of them, since they're ported Android games or emulated games and stuff, use these. Uh, unused buttons and stuff, or the clicks. That's another thing that's been used. Yeah. The clicky clicky things. It's like, oh, well, we don't use that for anything. Let's just make that start and select. But, that aside, I think we've worn the crap out of this. Also, these are convex. And yeah. people have said they sound squeaky. So, uh, Jesse, let's do a squeaky test. Put this up to your ears. You feel, do you hear some squeaks? Any plastic no. rubbing together? I mean... Uh, there's one. Yeah, uh, I mean... Bring out the Xbox controller. Let's just see how, how loudness of I mean, not ask me. If you push in hard all the way, it definitely feels like that. It rubs a little bit more in that. There's yeah. a little bit more resistance. But I mean, it's for a first gen controller. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad controller. Yeah, and, and, and in general, it's not a bad controller. controller. I wouldn't mind 
buying this if it wasn't fifty dollars, right. and then using it on computer because it's Bluetooth. You can connect it to a computer. You can connect it to an Android tablet that you already have and want to play Android games, which is kind of cool. Yeah. In of itself. And so, uh, while we've bored you with the hardware, I think it's time to get to the meat. Let's get to know the Ouya a little bit more. Yeah, so uh, let's turn the camera around and look at the Ouya interface. Okay. Welcome back. We are now looking at the Ouya starting up in our second Ouya. half of this review. We see a pretty cool start menu. It's very sleek, very slim line. And I just paired the controller. I've never used this controller. See, that's a, that's a cursor right there. <laughs> it actually works pretty well. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, try clicking on things. Discover. It's kind I, of... I didn't see a problem with it. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So, so uh, you want to look at some of these? Uh, let's let's go through the menu here. Okay. Play. Yeah, sure. Okay. And this is your or my list of games that I have currently downloaded. Anytime you uh, buy something, it just goes here, and uh, yeah, that's it. You it's all of your games. just a list. There's no way to sort them or anything. I don't care personally, because it doesn't take that long to get from one side to the other. However, if you end up with like 57 billion games, it might become a problem. Well, and even then you can do a search, so it's not that big of a deal. True. Okay, happy birthday. There we go. All right. Heck okay. yes. So, I mean, even if you're looking for a certain game, you can just easily search for it, and then you should be done. All right. Okay, next. Funny thing I've been getting used to is seeing A and it being back. It's in the right. same position where the B is, so it's natural pressing it, but seeing A to go back freaks me out a little bit. So this is the store. Okay, so you have featured games. Now, uh, forgive my internet. There, You'll see, like, empty boxes where things haven't loaded. That's not the Ouya. That's just my sucky internet. I assure you, you have no idea and how long it... I guess you it... have games, are, these, are there any movies or anything, or is it all games? It's all games, and there's also an apps uh, section. The emulators are in the retro section. Actually, Jesse, uh, if you want, we can... <laughs> oh, my internet. This is... There we go. So yeah, so I mean it's pretty well organized. You can easily get through things and let's let's explore for something new and see how uh, okay. the pages are, uh, how they look. See something that interests Ooh, you. Um, I played this game on my iPad. This is a really fun game on the iPad. All right, and we get to this after the thing loads. All right, you have a picture. And it's downloading. Yes, I downloaded. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse's this, this decided. That's a really fun game. Yeah, I've seen other people and they said it's good. There's a uh, more info you, button. Do you have to wait for it to um, to download or... You can go do other can things. can you go back? You okay, can, so yeah. it'll keep downloading. And it, it just creates a queue in the background of things okay. downloading. Let's see. Make This is where if you're developing stuff, which is what we'll end up doing. Uh, more on that in the future. Um, and I know this is... I know that Ouya is very pretty much made for um, for developers and people yeah, it's make a games very developer friendly console. Probably one of the most developer friendly consoles that I've seen. It's a good and that's bad. It's good because they have more freedom, bad because any person and their dog can make a game for it. <laughs> and then here you have your basic, you know, account settings, controllers, network notifications and then your system settings. Whenever you first launch it, first thing You'll it probably asks have to yeah, it updates and then it asks for your credit card information. You cannot make, you cannot download without having put that in there. Even though it doesn't charge you until you say it can in the game, uh, it's still, that's still a requirement. Right. Now, uh, if you go back down to the manage, uh, manage. yeah. Okay. Go to system, and then go to advanced. And... Then we're done with Ouya and in Android. See, this is one thing that kind of peeves me a little bit. I mean, I understand it, but whenever you get to nitty-gritty type uh, settings and things... Yeah, this looks exactly like... It's just an Android uh, thing. Yeah, look, there we go. Android uh, 1.2. 4.2. 4.1.2. 4, 4. Yes, he said 1.2. Yes. yes. I don't care. So basically, <laughs> it's running Jelly Bean. <laughs> yes. Um... I'm just going, I'm kind of curious about that. So, yeah, it'll actually show you everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, how much internal storage does it have? I think it's eight. I think eight it's eight gigs. gigs, but then you can plug like a hard drive. 
an uh, USB hard, hard drive or a USB key okay, into so the back. Okay, so that's not bad at all, because no. it does have the external yeah. USB board. And also, if you have emulators and stuff, that's how you're going to be getting ROMs on there. Get them on your computer, put them on a USB key, and then stick them in the back of the right. thing, yeah. So overall, I mean, simple menus, easy to navigate, and I like how it's designed. Oh, well, it sounds good to me. So that's been the uh, OUYA review, the hardware and the system. Yep. Seems pretty pretty decent for having just come out. People give it too right. much crap, but it's not a freaking PS3, guys. Right, and I mean, it's going to get better as they go along. They just released it. I mean, when you when you first release something, you have to, you have to make changes to it over time, and yeah. it will end up getting better. It's and a lot better than it was. And I'm... I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a very popular product in I, upcoming. I think so. They just they need some more games. I mean, it's already got a really, I don't know, I think it could turn into a thriving ecosystem. Right. More people just need to know about it. It's really cheap, guys. Come on, it's cheap, it's fun, it needs Netflix, and then it'll be and worth buying. Yeah, like I said before, I mean, it's, what, 20 bucks more than, like, a Roku or some of those other internet streaming boxes, and you can do a lot more than just stream internet. You can play games, which you can't do on the Roku and other things like that. So, I guess this has been stuff. Yes, I'm Layton. I'm Jesse. And, uh, I hope you have a pleasant... Evening. No, and screw them. We don't care. We don't care about our viewers, do we? Apparently, Jesse doesn't love you. Anyway. Well, subscribe, like us on Facebook, and we'll see you later. All right. Uh, I need some kind of Ouya related extra exit. Uh, Ouya out? Yeah, screw it. Bye bye.